All three are names that most Marquette County residents recognize. But do you know the people behind those names? Kenneth Ingalls Sawyer, K.I. Sawyer, has given his name to an Air Force base, a community, and an airport. He was born in Menominee and graduated from the University of Michigan with a degree in civil engineering. In 1916, he became the superintendent of the Marquette County Highway Department, where he both revolutionized safe automotive travel by putting a center line on a highway between Marquette and Nagani, and also by proposing that the state levy a tax on the sale of gasoline that would fund road repairs. In his spare time, Sawyer was occasionally mayor of Ishpeming, and he also served a decade as the county drain commissioner. K.I. Sawyer died in 1944 and is buried in the Ishpeming Cemetery. William G. Mather was the longtime president of the Cleveland Cliffs Iron Company and has his name on everything from a street in Marquette to a school in Munising. But it's his middle name that might be a little more well-known. In the first years of the 20th century, CCI built a town around several new mines in southern Marquette County. Mather spared no expense for the design and layout of the village, which he wanted to be considered a model town. When it came time to name the new community, he chose his mother's maiden name, which also happened to be his middle name. And that's why William Gwynne Mather may have one of the most famous middle names in Marquette County history. Finally, almost every Marquette County resident has spent a little time at Van Riper State Park. But did you know the park is named after Dr. Paul Van Riper? Van Riper graduated from the U of M Medical School in 1900 and came to the UP the next year as the company doctor for the Oliver Mining Company. When the mine shut down a few years later, he stayed on in the area, serving communities like Champion, Republic, and Michigami. In fact, he was the West End doctor for 69 years. For many of those years, Michigan's longest practicing physician. He once estimated that he delivered several thousand children in the area, and he was also well known for refusing payment if he knew that a family couldn't afford it. Van Riper was a civic leader as well. He spent 35 years on the Marquette County Board of Commissioners, never having lost an election. Dr. Paul Van Riper died February 17, 1970, at the age of 94. He was still practicing medicine up to two weeks before he passed away.